bypass Android factor reset protection on a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus running Android 6.0.1 with the February 1st, 2017 security patch. Uh, this method is for the people who cannot get the AT commands to work through real term or any other methods. Uh, this does not require you to downgrade the operating system or require an engineering bootloader at all. I've written a small program that does everything very fast and it should actually work on any Android device that's on 6.0.1 and below regardless of what security patch it has. Uh, as long as you can get ADB access, uh, the program should work for you. And no, fastboot doesn't count because the commands are different. Uh, please don't leave comments asking about other phones or any type of support for really anything. I don't have this phone anymore. Um, it was given to me as a project. I worked on it, got it taken care of, and yeah, so I don't know how much help I'll be anymore with this. I'm going to power off the phone completely. And after this, uh, what you're going to do is hold in the volume down, the home button, and the power button. And that's going to take you into the, uh, the recovery screen here. Um, there's probably an easier way to do this, but this is the way that I figured it out. So uh, once you're here, uh, you're going to press the volume up button, and it should take you to the, the bootloader screen. Uh, go ahead and hold the volume down, the home button, and the power button, and continue to hold those until it takes you into uh, the recovery screen. Uh, from here, if you scroll to the very bottom option, it's going to ask you to boot the phone with ADB commands enabled, or ADB support enabled. Um, so yeah, the phone's booting up now. Uh, this was a uh, Verizon model. By the way, um, go ahead and plug in your USB cable. All right, so now I'm going to show you that the phone is factory reset locked. Um, so you leave it on English or whatever language you know you need. <laughs> uh, from here, you're going to click next. Sorry, I recorded this uh, before I took this video here. All right, so it'll pop up and ask you if you want to enable ADB connections. Go ahead and say yes. Um, so you click next. I don't have a SIM card in this phone. Uh, next, it's going to ask you to connect to Wi-Fi. Go ahead and do that. Um, I took it off the screen so I could type in my Wi-Fi password. All right, so we're connected to Wi-Fi now. Once it's connected, you'll click on Next. What you're going to do now is open up the uh, the program that I'm going to give you the link to, and you'll click on Connect. Um, it's going to remind you you know to have the USB cable plugged in. Once you click OK, it should read all the information from the phone. Uh, go ahead and click the Inject button, and that's going to run a script. It's going to downgrade the Google Account Manager automatically, and you'll wait a few seconds. All right, once that's done, it's automatically going to pop up the sign-in screen. You click the three dots at the top, click Browser Sign-in, click OK. And then from here, you're going to go ahead and sign in with your Gmail account, which I'm going to do on the device now. I pulled it away from the screen so you can't see the uh, email and password. All right, so it's signing in now. And what's going to happen now is we need to reboot the phone. So on my program, click the reboot button. 
you're going to see a couple things crash on the phone. Don't worry about that. It'll power off. It'll power itself back on. And this is probably the longest process. Uh, once the phone comes back on, you'll be able to set it up just like normal. Uh, it just takes an extremely long time. Not quite sure why it takes so long, but it works. Uh, you can go ahead and close out of the program now. You won't need it open anymore. Okay, so back on the phone, uh, at the home screen, you'll select your language, select next. Still don't have a SIM card in there. Uh, next. It should stay connected to the Wi-Fi automatically. Since we signed into it before, you'll click Next. It'll check the connection, check the software. This is the long, boring part. <laughs> All right, so now it'll tell you that the account has been added. Uh, it says just a sec, but uh, this probably takes two or three minutes. So I'm going to turn off my camera now, and I'll come back once it's done. Uh, it's going to ask you to set it up like a regular setup screen. It'll ask for the date and time. It'll ask you if you want to add a password, which you can, or you can skip it like I did. Uh, you'll click on Next, and from here, uh, I just skipped over all of this. You can set up whatever you want. Uh, it's your phone, so I skipped over the Samsung account also. It's going to say, please wait, and then it's going to take you to the home screen. So now, uh, just to show you guys what it is, I went to Apps and Settings, About Phone, and go down to uh, Status. I really need to get better at video editing. <laughs> Alright, so there you can see it's Android 601, February 1st, 2017. If you guys like this video, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.